We have a bunny in the studio for a very special important reason. Uh, so COVID-19 has not been the only global pandemic that we've seen in the past couple of years. A new variant of rad rabbit hemorrhagic disease virus, RHDV, has been really kicking up and causing problems for rabbits. Jessica Merck, Doctor, thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. Um, slightly sad to have the rabbit in here on this topic of discussion, but a lot to learn from your research. Absolutely. It's, um, this is a virus that's been in other parts of the world, but then mutated and is now in the United States and has even been identified in Iowa yeah. as early as August. And um, this is affecting wild and domestic rabbits and is very contagious. Um, and unfortunately, frequently fatal to yeah. rabbits. And so we want to make sure people are aware yes. that this is in the areas yes. and that when there are things that we can do to help prevent this. Yes, warning signs. What do you watch out for if you see a little rabbit acting funny? Well, and with this virus, sometimes the only symptom is you find a dead rabbit. Um, but if you happen to get a form of the virus that takes a little bit longer, that rabbit may be found with blood out of its nose or its urinary system, um, or okay. it may just go into acute liver, liver failure. Okay, is there a vaccine? There is a a, a emergency use vaccine from Medgene Labs um, and it's two doses given at least three weeks apart and then annually after that um, we're hoping to be able to do a rabbit clinic yes. um, and have um, a number of rabbits be protected for yeah. this virus because this is something that you could bring inside on your clothes to wow. your indoor rabbits so oh my goodness. Um, it's transmitted through food through water and through contamination of things that have been in contact with the virus. And um, what trends are you seeing in Iowa? Has it really caused a lot of problems here? Are you able to... Thankfully advise? not yet. Okay, good. And Thankfully, we want to keep that. Yes, that's what we would like to do. We don't want to see anyone's rabbit um, die from something that we... The vaccine has been shown uh, to be quite effective. Sure. Um, so we want to make sure that we keep our rabbit friends as safe as possible. Absolutely. And where is this little rabbit friend from? This little rabbit, this is Ginger, and she's from Furry Friends Refuge. And they have a whole bunch of rabbits that are up for adoption. She's so cute. I love the name and she's very calm. She's like a little comfort animal over here. She is amazing. <laughs> she's she's a great rabbit. How yeah. old is she? I'm not sure. Uh, she <laughs> but, looks very youthful. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, she right now she is with her um, two of her litter mates in, in a kennel, and um, she's one of eight from the same family oh, wow. uh, that ended up at the shelter. Okay. Well, yeah. good to know we always want to support local shelters. Where can folks find you or get more information if they want to, you know, vaccinate their rabbits or adopt? Well, I'm at uh, Ashworth Road Animal Hospital in West Des Moines off of Ashworth Road. Um, and our phone number is 225-1807. Uh, you can find us on the web at ashworthpet.com. Wonderful. Thank you for being here today. She's such a cutie. We just want you to stay healthy. So yes, really absolutely. valuable information. Thank you for explaining that to our viewers. You just can't be too careful, right? Thank you very much. Thank yes. you so much.